college and I with ethereal ecology. I'm sitting like half outside, half inside, because I'm losing light fast, but it's kind of cold and it's kind of loud outside because it's like rush hour. But this is the Reducing the Dosage series. Yay, Reducing the Dosage. It's so much fun. It's so much fun, but it's so worth it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth it. Ah, the last time I made a video was about a week and a half ago. I want to say two weeks ago. Probably a little less. And at that point, I was at 75 milligrams. And I was feeling, you know, as you may recall, pretty pretty good. And I was getting on a rant about psychiatric medication and blah, blah, blah. And the system, because it happens sometimes. And then a couple of days later, I just decided... I'm going to go down again. I can do this. I'm going to go down. And I've been going down my 12 and a half because the pills that I have are 25s and, um, and 50 milligram tabs. So I have to cut them in half. And I, I can't really cut them in half any smaller than, than that. I can't just keep cutting them. So I'm sort of at the 12 and a half mark for going down, which has been good. But... This last time, I just did that willy-nilly, and I, you know, if you're doing this process, like, pay attention every single day, like, to the fact that you're going to have withdrawal symptoms. Like, it's like I forgot that that is a thing because everything was sort of stable for a while. But basically what happened was I, I sort of went a little manic and had a lot, a lot, a lot of emotions come up that I was ready to deal with, but they made me very – they made me mishandle situations that could have been easily handled. I mean, just like having conversations with people or – um, you know, I just, I would just break down crying in the middle of my room and like I was just having a lot of confusion and mental anguish over decisions and wondering why I couldn't feel my intuition and like, oh, like why can't I make a decision? Why am I so bipolar? And then it, then it dawned me like, oh yeah, because I am. I imagine that I'm going to be making more videos now that I'm lower in my dosage than I had when I was higher up and, and going down then. Because now I think I'm really, really getting to the root of a lot of the issues that I covered up when... I started taking this medication. And I, I do think that that's what's happening because that, that it covers up emotions and these layers of ourselves that we're not quite ready to open up because they're, they are painful and they make us, and it's like my, it's like my brain's dead right now. It's, it's, it's like my brain's dead. Like I feel sort of numb. I was just doing yoga. Um, and a lot of times after yoga, I cry because I've just moved some stuff out and I love crying. I have learned to love crying because it is something that I just shut out for the longest time and it feels so freaking good to cry. So breaking down crying this week was actually quite, quite incredible, even though it was like really painful in the moment. It's like, yes, get this out of my system, like an exorcism almost of emotion. Um, but I just like couldn't cry I couldn't feel anything even though I know there's lots of emotions going on and it's because I went down to 62 and a half and then I realized oh this is why I'm so making terrible decisions or drastic brash decisions right now that aren't necessarily bad decisions but the fact that they came on really strongly and they were really it was kind of like a whirlwind and I was bringing other people into it and I couldn't help it. I, I couldn't help it. But if I would have just known that it was me being on, being on withdrawals from prescription medication, then I probably would have been more gentle with myself and not been like, wow, why can't you just do this like a normal person? I would have been more gentle with myself and probably honest with other people. I would have told them, but I didn't, I didn't know I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. And that's what it's all about, it's paying attention. 
but I went down, I went back up to 75 milligrams after realizing that the other day. I'm like, I need to get stable because this is not sustainable. But now realizing how sort of like numb it's made me, I, I want to go down again because I realize this is the journey. This is the work. The work is uncovering those shadows. It's like uncovering our shadow sides. And I'm going into the time of the West um, and in the time of the North, it's like shadow work, shadow work, seeing the sides of ourselves that we really try very hard not to see, but they're always there. And when you shine a light on them and look behind you, there they are. Um, and so it's it's timely that these things are coming up right now. When it's winter, it's getting colder. I'm retreating in the darkness of my cave. Um, and so I welcome it, but I realize to some extent I have to limit I, I may have to like limit my relationships. Like I, I'm kind of realizing that there's certain things that I may not be able to do until I'm off prescription medication, like have a serious relationship with somebody because I'm so wild. I'm so all over the place. And I, I don't want to really bring anybody in on that who it's not that they're not in for the ride, but you know, I, I guess I just don't, really know if it's a good idea to have distractions and and I would say that if if you are getting off prescription medication take it very seriously take it very seriously and I do take this seriously and 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 that was a slap in the face this week of everything that happened was treat this with respect because this is you coming out this is you the fullest expression of you and it doesn't it's not it's not balanced right now because you haven't balanced it. And as I go down in my dosage, I'm uncovering little by little of those pieces of myself that I still need to work on in order to really be in control of this spectrum of emotions that happens. So it's been really interesting. And uh, like I said, I'm going to try to make more videos like this. You know, my earlier videos were like, I feel like I was a mess and I, it's like almost embarrassing to post them, but you know, it's the process and I've changed so much um, over this like year, how, however much time that I've been doing these videos. Um, so here's the transparency of it. Like I'm a human being, I'm a young human being and I am akin to every single one of you and, and very different in other ways and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, I just want to be happy, healthy and wise. And I think everybody wants that. So anyway, I hope that this was helpful for those of you who are thinking about getting off of their psychiatric medications. I would highly recommend, yes, I know that I've been like dissing the, psych the psychiatrist and everything like that, but if you aren't sure, if you, if you aren't in your body, if you are not being aware and present with yourself, maybe even having a journal and writing every single day how you feel, especially if you're getting off, if you're not if you're not prepared to be self aware on that level, maybe you're really busy. Maybe you just don't haven't you haven't developed that self awareness yet. First of all, I would I would recommend finding ways and tools and like meditation, journaling, therapy, things like that to understand yourself because you have to understand yourself if you are going to get off of these things. But second, if you need a psychiatrist to help you go down in dosage in a safe way, do it by all means. I know it's expensive for some of us who have insurance that doesn't cover it for some reason. Um, but do what you can and be safe. Like seriously, be safe, especially if your medication has negative side effects like this one. If you go up or down too fast, I think if you go up too fast, you can get like a life threatening rash or a seizure. And I'm really not trying to have a seizure right now. So, um, Definitely just be safe and be compassionate, be gentle, love yourselves, love everyone else. And just remember that it's, it's all at the, at its essence, absolutely hilarious that we have to deal with this. It's, it's human existence. It is what it is. And one day we're all going to die and we'll be laughing all the way to, to heaven. <laughs> all right. Well, I love all of you very much. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.